This week we're at Lake Erie State Park. This is just south of Buffalo, about an hour, right on Lake Erie. And we're having a great time and we want to show you around. So right after this introduction footage, come on back and check us out. And you had to pee on the sign, didn't you? This is our campsite here at Erie State Park. Comfortable shade on our awning. There's a fire ring here. Picnic table. And over here is probably the best part. Lake Erie. Now you do want to be careful There is a bit of a drop off here, down to the water. But it's been nice to lay here and sleep at night and listen to the late waves come in, so really enjoying that. Zephyr, come here. Zephyr. Hey. Well, we decided to take a little walk this afternoon. Gonna go over by the water and walk along the beach. I think the dogs with us. They always like a beach, but I think they're going to be surprised that there's not sand on this one. But anyways, check it out. You're leading the way, Monty. This week, we come to you from Lake Erie State Park, which is about an hour south of Buffalo, New York, and actually an hour north of Erie, Pennsylvania. We're right on the shore of Lake Erie. We're just off the throughway from the Dunkirk exit, so it's fairly easy to get to. And we're close to Dunkirk, as well as Erie, Pennsylvania. And Fredonia, um, which is a state college there. It's our first time here, and 
We had never heard, or yeah, we had never heard of it. Yeah, before. we hadn't really heard of it until it was suggested to us, and we decided to pick this as a meetup point for some of the, our friends in the Airstream Club. And so we came here and met with what four other trailers. Yeah, we we've been here since Monday and staying till tomorrow. There was a total of five Airstreams here at one time. The view from like our campsite is, you know, awesome. It's. Uh, right over the lake and it's been a kind of a gathering point for uh, happy hours at night where some of the other air streamers bring their their chairs over and their drinks and we kind of sit in a circle socially distance around the um, bankment and enjoy the views of the lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah we do this for a couple hours every night and we we have had one at our campsite and then we kind of switch around and all of all the air streamers seem to hold one night at their campground, at their campsite. This state park is, I don't know, what would you get it? Maybe a, a three and a half out of five? Yeah, it's it's very nice. I mean, it's very wooded, a lot of very tall trees, a lot of shade at the campsites. The reason I give it a, a star and a half off is there's, there's a few things to do in this campground, but there's not a lot. Right. Um, if you've got kids and such there are playgrounds and disc golf available the the park is fairly small it's not huge so I mean there's a little there's some hiking around here um, biking you can probably do some biking but it'd be a little bit limited because there's just not a lot of grounds in the park to ride and the road that the park is on is a pretty busy road so I, you know you really wouldn't want to ride on that right right and uh there is a little beach area. There's no, it's not a sand beach, it's just rocks. I understand there used to be a, a beach, a sand beach, but due to erosion, that is gone now. Yeah. And there is no lifeguard, so you swim at your own risk. Yeah, and so swimming is, it's probably not the best for swimming. It's pretty rocky and such, so you could launch a kayak there probably if you wanted to. Right. And it's, it's not a very big area, so right. you couldn't really walk along the lake there. Right. But there are things in the area to go to go to and see. You know, people have driven down to Erie, Pennsylvania, and there's quite a bit to do around that area. You're getting into a, uh, a section of wine country for uh, western New York, and there's a, a number of wineries along that way that you could stop at. Um, going north up to Dunkirk, there's a... Um, lighthouse that you can tour that we actually did. We, we didn't tour the lighthouse, but we went walked around the grounds and checked it out. All right, and that was interesting. There is also a, a public marina where you could launch a boat, as well as a nice little boardwalk that has a couple shops, a couple places to eat, and you can also fish from the piers. Right. And um, it was a very nice area, very well maintained. Um, you could park there. They had, you know, there were sidewalks that you could sit on and fish. Yeah, it'd be just an interesting place just to go there and sit and watch the boats, you know, on a summer day. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't recall ever being here before. No, I don't think we've, we, I, I'm, I know, I've never been here. We drive by it on the throughway because it's just up the road. Yeah. We've never stopped here. No, and this is very nice. Yeah. Dun, what is it, Dunkirk Harbor? Dunkirk Harbor, yeah. yeah. And Marina. And Marina. Yeah. yeah, and they have a lighthouse here that we went and checked out. You can do tours of it. Yeah. Um, we had the dog. I don't really think, well, I don't think the lighthouse was open. Yeah, yeah. There was somebody in the gift shop, so I'm sure you could have got a tour. Oh, maybe, yeah. But that was very nice. Yeah, some little shops up there. Yeah, the boardwalk. Some little shops of um, takeout food. Right. I think everything's takeout food these days. Unless you're daring to go into a restaurant, sit in the dining room of a restaurant. Yeah, and look, here comes our yacht. Yeah, very nice, very sleek. Well, we're just here enjoying a campfire. Yep, our last evening here. Yep, enjoying the campfire, watching the sunset over the lake. 
just relaxing. Well, if you enjoyed this video, what should they do? Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That's right, and make sure to hit the bell for notifications so that you will know when we post new videos. We try to post videos every week, and we'd love to have you follow along with our journey. And until the next time, we will see you down the road. That's right, we'll see you down the road, guys. Take care. Say goodbye, Zeph. Zephyr says goodbye.